Unlucky for some, we're at 13. <sighs> Still about one and a half behind, but you know, it's not too bad. Let's just get on with it. So, uh, Sophia Chili suggested giving video responses to uh, some of the comments on my. Uh, 24 and 24 videos. Luckily, you lovely people have given me some comments. So uh, let's get on with the first comment. This one's from Hermitep. I love that episode and the one in the bar with the guy with the wooden leg. <sighs> Great minds think alike, Hermitep. I did in the unedited version say about that ver uh, that one where he goes to the bar with the uh, exquisitely carved leg um, and the uh, ridiculous fake money but yeah though though those bits were very funny uh, you I, I can't fault that really can I I can't I can't really can I no Mavid Abebe uh, Tapa is a nice Filipino beef which they eat for breakfast with rice and a fried egg. Oh, for a while I thought I was going to go to Philippines. Not big fan of fried eggs. Being vegetarian. So just rice for breakfast for me. What more than just rice? Or do they do the fried eggs until they're really fried, until they're rubbery? I don't like fried eggs with that runny stuff. Ugh. Runny yolks, runny whites, no runny. Just all fried until they're rubbly and rubbery. Mr. Gary Entropy. Lots of Hansel and Gretel in The Shining. Wow. But I never kind of picked up on that, but wow, yeah. It's a film I've got to see again. Um, there's there's lots of films about uh, about the film The Shining and about how there's some possibly conspiracy stuff about how Kubrick um, actually filmed the moon landings and he's giving you clues about it because the room number is the same amount of miles that it is from Earth to the Moon, and there's various other things, so ooh, it's quite an interesting film. Like, ages since I've seen it. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time I sat down and watched it again. Chris White, my experience with LARPing is when I was in DC after 9 11, say 9 13, near Union Station. The terrorists had just anthraxed the Senate Minority Whip's office. Um, and murdered an inter-office postal worker. At the same time, they had the buildings across the way cleared for bomb scares. Regardless, everyone from the three buildings were thrown into the street or while the military was on the street corners with machine guns and Huey gunships and F-16s constantly overhead. Funny how today we all still stick together. Yeah, very interesting times we're in and you know I try not to look too much into lots of conspiracy stuff but there's a lot of people that say we've all been party to a lot of LARPing for a long time there was even a uh, article I read that the sinking of the Titanic was possibly a way of getting into America having federal banking. Who knows? I also heard it was an insurance scam. Who really knows? Our brains love patterns and conspiracy theories. They're like patterns, aren't they? I'm not saying there's no truth behind them, but sometimes there's more patterns than truth. 
The Sophia Chile. Ah, I love a bit of 70s political far-right leftist reactionary Marxist social commentary on the face of multinational corporations bending, breaking and rewriting the law for their own greedy needs so that the uh, uh, and that of the shareholders. In other words, clown eaten by lions. On the nose, sir. I, I, I hoped someone would see the, uh, the hidden... Uh, political subtext of that piece and uh, on the nose sir on the nose so there you have it a few uh, video responses or comments back to the comments that I've had on the 24 and 24s let's pull another out of the box Right. Ah, see, so this is from uh, the the, the uh, internet funny man that is Mr. Stevie Jacko, and uh, it's a walk along the seafront in Uggs. Now, this is because um, I don't like Uggs, and uh, but I don't have a pair of Uggs, but I do have some Crocs. Uh, so, may I walk along the seafront in my crocs instead? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> 